Hello and welcome to SDN Tech Forum. So in this part of video, I'm going to show you how to send netconf calls, RPC calls from the tool called Yang Explorer. So we have touched base upon this in our first part of video where I have, where we talk about why, why Yang Explorer and how to use that. In this video, I'm going to give a practical demo of Yang Explorer. So I'm pulling back the same shame sheet again and you can see that yang explorer a gui driven tool to test netconf and restconf uh, rpc calls you can load yang models you can browse young yang models you can execute netconf or restconf of operation using yang explorer and you can also generate python script based on the netconf for xml calls yang explorer installation you can install it in a mac or any linux based uh, uh, machine uh, installation is pretty simple i have given a link for the uh, git link for the yang explorer so you can just clone that uh, and then go to the yang explorer directory and uh, just uh, start the explorer once the yang explorer service start you can access it via localhost and the port number is 8088 uh, so <clears throat> i have already installed my yang explorer and it is services started so i should be able to uh, log into uh, gui but before that i'm going to show you uh, the device what we prepared for our netconf where we are going to send the calls uh, so this is my device cat 4k enabled for netconf and as i put my username and password you can see that uh, hellos are exchanged because netconf works on port 8 830 hellos are exchanged and this is the capability list exchanged by the device so if i scroll up you can see that these are the capability exchange between client and server and all these uh, protocol listed here these are supported capabilities like it is supporting ietf yang ssh type interface type cisco base uh, vendor specific yang models uh, IETF, MPLS, sudo wire, and all those services uh, services are supported. So all those Yang models are available uh, within the device. Also, you can see that how it's ending. It's ending with the uh, uh, closing loop bracket. That means uh, this is uh, netconf 1.0. 1.1 uh, is a higher version, but this is uh, negotiate. This has negotiated 1.0. So this is what happened in during capability exchange if i want now if i want to send any rpc calls the router or um, my vm uh, doesn't have a native interface to send any netcon based call so we need a tool and that's why we are looking at uh, yang explorer so now let's go back to yang explorer i have given a here a link so configure netcon yang using cisco ios 6c platform you can bookmark this link and this book, book, uh, link has a very cool mention of how to use your Yang Explorer. I'm going to run through a couple of configs from this uh, workbook, but you are uh, feel free to explore more and the more time you spend, you will feel confident. So these are the first couple of steps which we have already done. Like we have prepared our cat list, in my case, router SR4K. Uh, for uh, netconf netconf and yang so step one and step two we already completed step three i already have management interface so, no. so basically my device is prepared now i have to look at the yang explorer what we need to do so my services is started i should be able to access my gui and this is my gui if i am going to refresh it you can see that uh, I am logged in as guest. Uh, you can, the default username is guest guest, or you can log in as admin. Uh, for that username is uh, admin admin. On my le on left side, you can see uh, there are two Yang trees, config and operations. So based on what kind of RPC call you are sending, like if you want to do any configuration change, please select config. If you are do, uh, want to do any uh, operation, please select op operation. And these are the two by default um, uh, Yang models. 
uh, which is detected and loaded but if in case you want more yang model you can always sync from device so for device how how you will create your device you can always click on create device profile it will take you to a administration page you can name your device test or name something uh, meaningful you can choose device family use your user how you want to log in guest or admin and then put your netconf ip netconf uh, port is op optional netconf username and netconf password also you have to put the some description and then you can say save so i already have a, a profile created so i'm not going to create a profile i have the same device uh, which has this ip address and all those things so I'm going to use that device and we will follow the guide okay so what we can do here you can have created your uh, device family and then what you can do you can subscribe to netconf notification you can say that okay these are the not uh, notification I want to subscribe if I come here and I'm, I'm going to choose a custom RPC so I'm just clicking custom RPC and run. So you can see I got a RPC reply. So basically the RPC uh, call was successful. The syntax was correct. Hence I got a RPC reply. But you must be wondering that what, how should I know like what RPC I want to use. So for that what you can do we are going to use work on this example basic netconf yeah, operational example in this operational example what we are going to do we are going to list the interface name from the cat list so this is my interface I want to use get config just follow the guide come here get config this is the operational thing we want RPC click on RPC first I will clear this see this is the RPC so you don't have to know the RPC uh, how to write the RPC because if you have the yang model available and now since you have RPC available you can simply save it for future use so that you have this RPC called handy or also you can run it right now so you can see that these are all the interfaces I have available in my router so this is equivalent to show interface description so all the interfaces what I have configured on my router you can see from here I'll show you I, we will validate this on our router itself so I'll break this not minute concession I'll do a regular SSH to the router so we don't need this. S. Show IP interface brief. You can see that I have Gigi 000, 001, 002, and then two serial interfaces and a couple of other Gigi interfaces. Let's validate here what we see. We are saying the same thing Gig 0, my management, and then the three SFE Gig port. We have some uh, serial ports, look back, interface, everything here. So exact same information, what you can do, uh, get from CLI, you can get it from uh, NetConf. And that, that is the purpose of like uh, doing NetConf, right? So no need to memorize your RPC or learn how to write RPC syntax as far as you have the right Yang model available. And you can, if you don't have the right Yang model, loaded you can always sync it from device okay now if you want to do some uh, configuration command so what you can do you can actually choose config and now i want to shut down one of my interface which i will say this one so that i don't lose connectivity shut down interface uh, okay so my interface name just put the value here 
type type is we have to find the type here uh, we int third channel now what I see your Ethernet. Yep, gigabit Ethernet enabled. I'm going to say true is no shut, false is shut, and then we click on RPC. This is my RPC. So basically, it says gigi001 interface uh, status is false edit config so we are running an edit config operation run error so probably something is not right that means i have chose the wrong interface type error path so these are like few things you need to uh, look at what kind of interface it is uh, because different branches are there I'm going to select uh, Ethernet and then CRPC. Hopefully, I'll get this uh, correct this time. Okay, yes, status is okay. So now let's go back and check it here one more time. Gigi001 is admin shut. Earlier it was no shut, now it's admin shut. Very good. I'm also new uh, to this RPC in, in interface uh, and we all learn. Uh, so uh, this is what I wanted to show. Uh, feel free to explore Yang Explorer a little more. And then in for upcoming video, I'm going to talk about model driven telemetry, the basics of model driven tele telemetry. And then we take it one step further on how to visualize it using uh, graphical interfaces like Grafana and Kibana. So thank you.